All right, guys, after a long wait, we have the Flare 58 in hand. Owned the Flare Pro 2 before this, really enjoyed it, really liked pulling shots on it. Excited to see what the Flare 58 can do. We're gonna be setting up, unboxing, and pulling our first shot together. Hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, let's get to opening the Flare 58 up. So in here, we should have our dosing funnel for the portafilter. Feels really well made. Magnetic. Feels like it's all metal. We have the drip tray. May or may not use it. I didn't really use it with the Pro 2. If it fits my scale, I might, but we'll just kind of wait and see on that. I did get in during the pre-sale, so they did send me a Lover Fever shirt. Alright, let's get to the 58. So it looks like we have the portafilter here. Not sure how much it holds. I believe it's 18 grams. Basket looks really nice. Portafilter is nice and heavy. We have the pressure gauge. Looks pretty close to the Pro 2, except for the metal stem. We have our tamper here. I'm going to be using a different tamper with the distributor on it. We have the Flare 58 puck screen. Supposed to help with cleanup, dispersion of the water. Here's the brick everyone's been talking about. It is pretty hefty. So I'm going to have to find somewhere to put this thing. Here's our electronic for the brewing chamber to preheat. Just some cables for the brewing chamber. So it comes in two parts. So this is going to be our handle, definitely feels a lot more sturdy than the Pro 2. It actually feels really nice compared to the Pro 2. My Pro 2 is a little bit squeaky. This one feels nice and fluid. We have our brewing chamber here with our silicone cap if we don't want to use the electronic. Feels really hefty, actually really nice. Here's some bolts so when we set it up, it will stay in place, stay stationary. And then we have our base. Base is definitely a lot bigger than the Pro 2. As for longer, not positive. Maybe a tiny bit longer, but not, not too much longer. I like the Flare 58 logo at the bottom. And then we have our manual. So next up, we're going to be setting this whole thing up. So now we're going to do a quick setup. I already connected the port to the 
outlet the drip tray actually does fit my scale so I may actually use it this time so first thing we're going to connect the handle to the base screws come into play. nice and tight. Oh, I shouldn't be moving anywhere. Cool. So next we're going to grab our brewing chamber. It should walk into place. Like so. And then I'm going to tighten this one up. Now it shouldn't move at all, and so it doesn't. Okay, so now we're going to connect our ports. So I've got some of it set up already. Put the brewing chamber on put the bolts in the back, tighten the brewing chamber up with this little Allen wrench and just tighten it right here. So next we have this little guy. Go. And then we screw it on. Make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. We're all set up and ready to go. I think it's time we get brewing. All right, so I haven't tested this out yet. I'm gonna see with my first shot using the Niche Zero Flare 58 um, fellow, fellow Kettle EKG. I'm also using this tamper Again, haven't tried any of this out. First shot may be just horrible, may just choke it, or it may just channel like crazy. So we're going to see how this does. The 
Brewing chamber is ready to go. Green lights are on and staying on. It took about two minutes for it to actually stay at the green, um, which means that it's ready to go. So I'm going to pull out the porta filter. Should be nice and hot. I left it there for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to dose 18 grams, so need a little bit more. So that should be good, close enough, 18.3. I do like to spray my beans just a tad. That way I don't get that many or that much static. I'm going to WDT it, make sure everything's nice and level. Alright, so give it a few taps just to settle the grounds. So I think with this, I may have gone a little too high. Yeah, quite a bit actually. And then we're going to tamp it. And this one actually feels like not getting enough resistance, so I'm going to go down a little bit on it. And then we'll adjust this one too. So there's our puck. So to preheat the distribution screen, or the puck screen, I actually put it in my kettle, so it actually should be extremely hot right now. So yeah, it's pretty hot. So, put that on top. We're going to lock it in. So this, I'm not the greatest at. Still trying to figure out how to get it to lock in correctly. There we go. All right, now we're going to pull our shot. So we're going to take this off. it up and then we're going to fill it with water oh 
all the way to the top. Put this back on. Turn on our scale. So we'll do a quick pre infusion. Oh, yeah, I can already tell this is going to be a fast shot. I can already tell this is going to be a fast shot. So yeah. I'm actually just going to let the whole thing go. So roughly 66 at 40 seconds. Yeah, not very good. So we're going to have to grind a lot finer. Overall, I'm going to be testing out different beans, different methods. I'm going to be recording them. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. This was my first shot. I'll have an update on my second shot. Hopefully, it goes a little bit better. So, I hope you guys have a great day.